Hi, this is Miss Carrie, uh, in charge of Youth Services for the Auglaize County District Public Library System, welcoming you to the 2013 Summer Reading Program online. That's right, we've gone online and accessible through our very own website at auglaize.opelin.org. That's auglaize.opelin.org. Once you arrive there, your screen will look like this, and you'll just simply click on this nice big banner that says Dig Into Reading, which is our 2013 theme. Once you click on that, you'll be taken to the Summer Reading homepage, which will give you the three icons that will take you into the three separate programs of Summer Reading. One for children, ages 0 to 12, who are still reading uh, picture books or easy reader books. One for the young adults who are reading primarily young adult titles with maybe some adult titles mixed in, but no longer reading easy reader or chapter books. And your adult program for adults who may be reading young adult titles as well as adult titles, but are over the age of 18. So it all depends on the type of book you're reading and roughly your age group. Uh, we'll start here with the children's program. And you'll click on that icon and it will take you into the Summer Reader tool. And this is what it looks like. It looks the same in all three programs, so each program will run specifically as it ran from the paper program. So for the kids program, the online program will replace the paper reading records and book logs. For the young adult program, the online program will replace your punch card. And the adult program will not change all that much. In any event, the children's program is the most complex, and so we'll take a look at that one. On every page, whether it's children's, young adult, or adults, you'll see on your left-hand side cool links. And these cool links will be different depending on the category, but they will all start with our events calendars, which, if you click it, will take you to our calendars and all of our flyers for all of the very exciting events that we have coming up for summer reading. There's a lot of super cool stuff going on. You'll want to check it out. But there's also neat uh, places where authors live, like Mo Willems and Skippy John Jones and Sandra Boynton, and some just really fun places to be, like What Should I Read Next and Best Books for Kids. So there's all kinds of fun things for kids uh, to play with and check out here in the Cool Links section. Um, this will also appear once we're logged in, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So... Everybody will start by going to sign me up, and you can start signing up online on May 27th, even though the summer reading program doesn't officially start till June 3rd. If you're using the online program, you can sign up and go ahead and start reading. Then right away on June 3rd, you can log your books, and you're off to the races on the very first day. Pretty exciting, right? So click on sign me up and sign yourself up. What you'll need to do is select a password. I suggest maybe your PIN number that you use with your library card because your username for this will be your library card number. So if you have a four-digit PIN, which you probably set up when you set up your library card, I would suggest you use that. It's just easy to remember. Otherwise, I always suggest the last four digits of your um, telephone number or your library card number or your house number. Um, those are good passwords because this isn't, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of private information here. It's just your book log and your reading record information that's in here. So, uh, you can just create as generic a password as you want, just so long as it's easy to remember for you. And put in your first name and last name and your age. And if you have a child that's under the age of one, just select one. They're more than welcome. It does absolutely count if you're reading to them. Um, and we fully encourage you to read to your children. So if you have a child under the age of one, just select one. And likewise, if you have a child that's not yet in preschool, we still consider them pre-K. So zero up to five or until they're in kindergarten, you can log as pre-K. So we're going to say grade three. They just completed grade three. This is the grade you just left, not the one you're going into, so the one you just finished. And your patron classification is child if you're in the children's program, young adult if you're in the young adult program, and adult if you're in the adult program. And you can see I've been in here a couple times already. 
and log in with your email address. You'll definitely want to log an email address. Um, if you don't have one, use your parents or use one that you can have access to because the system here will email your registration information to that email address. If you want it to, it will also email your book log to that address. Um, it will also email forgot password. If you forget your password, it will send your reminders to that email address. So you do need to locate an email address to use uh, in some way. Um, if you have a problem with that, please contact your local library and see if there's some way they can help you with that email address field. For your primary library, you'll select the library that you're going to go and get your books from and collect your prizes from and submit your tickets at. So that would be Wapakoneta for me. And then enter your library card number. And click Save. Once you click Save, you'll see a pop-up that has your name, and then it will show that it sent you a confirmation to your email address that has all your login information, so you can keep that all summer reading long in case you need your login information. And here it is again, your library card number and your password. And then click OK. Then you'll be taken into your own personal homepage, and you'll say your first name here and your last name here, and it'll say your homepage. Now again, you still see all your cool links out here to the left-hand side, but now you see a whole bunch more options. Now you'll get a summary. These bullet points are your summary of how you're doing in the summer reading program so far. This is the first time I've logged in, so I don't have any book log entries, no picture books or easy readers, and no chapter books. And the next bullet tells me how many I need to read for this week to win a prize. So I need to read either 10 picture or easy readers or one chapter book this week to win a prize. It also tells me that there's 52 days remaining in the program and that it ends on Saturday, July the 13th. So it's handy information. The other things you'll see now on your screen are important messages, which is just a welcome message for now, but if we had any essential information to pass along, we'd put it there. The other buttons you see here are add a family member to your registration. Now this is really a cool part of the Summer Reading Online tool. Say you're a mom who has three kids in the summer reading program. In the past, you would have had to carry around to keep track of three reading records and any number of book logs at any given time. Now, with only one library card and one password, you can access all of your family's accounts. So each family member that signs up with summer reading, as long as you add them here and add a family member to your registration, you can manage them through your own library card with your own password. And I'll show you how that works. You click on add a family member to your registration. And then you pick which program. So if you have a child, you pick children's. If you're adding a young adult, you pick young adult. Or if you're adding a second adult to your program, you could ch choose adult. I'm going to add another child and hit continue. And now it's going to take me to a registration page that's already partially completed based on the entry that I made. So same last name, same phone number, same email, same primary library, same library card. You're just going to change the first name. And then enter the age of this child. And the grade completed and the patron classification. And that's all you need to do and click save. And now Sam Had a Lamb is registered as well. Now you notice your home page looks different because now you've logged yourself an account and Sam. So you see what I mean? If you're a mom and you sign up under the adult program and then you sign up all your kids under the children program using add a family member to your registration, you would see you as the me. You are the me. Whoever is the first one to log in or the first one to sign in and whoever's library card you're using, they are the me in this drop down. And then anyone else you set up underneath it is their own entry in this drop down up to 50 people so you could manage your entire family and maybe your grandparents and maybe your neighbors however you want to set it up all in one uh, through one library card and one password so we could toggle back and forth and it will show each of us our individual summaries so it's not confusing at all. You just keep flipping. And if it was an adult, it would change over to the adult program. If it was a young adult, it would change over to the young adult program. And all you need to do 
is flip through the, your family members to change to add to their book log or change their information. So it's just that simple to manage everybody in your family from one library card and one password. No paper required, no drama about losing a reading record or book logs. This will always keep track of everything for you nice and tidy in one location. So how does that book log look, you ask? So you go to Edit View Book Log for me, just like your book log in the past. Instead of the, the white form that you have to drag around or multiple white forms that you have to drag around, you just enter your titles here, plain and simple. Type them in, hit Enter, or click Save, and you're done. So we'll type in a title here, and that is a picture or easy reader book. But if you were logging a chapter book, you would simply go down and select chapter book. So make sure you're picking the right one. And then click save. And that's all there is to it. Now you see it's going to keep a running list of every book you've read the entire summer reading program. So that's kind of neat because you can see at the end how many total books you read in the six weeks of summer reading program between June 3rd and July 13th. So at the end, you could print yourself off a list and you could have all those books that you read and maybe you could show your English teacher or maybe it's just neat for you to keep to see, you could challenge yourself to see how much you can read. Um, you can also have it emailed to yourself to the email address that you put in your registration. So you can keep track of your own summer reading if you like to set goals for yourself. And this also helps us keep track of how you've been doing and count your tickets. So enter all of your um, your titles, all the titles of the pick, of the books that you read. The other cool thing this year I don't want to forget is if you're an ebook reader and if you loan out books through the Ohio ebook project, you can now count those books in the online tool. Where we didn't have any way to track that before, you can now enter anything that you log out or check out, I'm sorry, through the Ohio ebook project, you can enter those titles here as well. So that's really exciting also. Um, so to win a weekly prize, you need to read 10 picture or easy reader books or one chapter book. So I need nine more picture books or one chapter book to be eligible for the weekly prize. So let's go ahead and add a chapter book so I can show you what that looks like. If I can type, which is half the battle and click save. Now, because I've accomplished the goal of one chapter book per week, you'll see at the top, it's told me I've won a prize. Yay! Um, like, just the same, that would have come up if I had entered nine more picture or easy reader books. So it's either or, not both. So if you're a chapter book reader, but you still like to read picture or easy readers, or you're reading them to your siblings, you can still count them. Just enter all those titles in. Because even though I've already won my prize reading one chapter book, if I read nine more picture or easy reader books, I can earn another ticket. One chapter book equals one ticket. Ten picture or easy reader books equals one ticket. So I can earn as many tickets as I want in a week, even though I can only win one weekly prize. And again, that's exactly the same as it was on the white book log forms from the paper process. So nothing's changed at all. You can maximize your tickets by reading, reading, reading all week long. Put as many as you can get in there. The other exciting thing is when you come in to get your prize, if you've read, say, 13 picture or easy reader books, you can get credit for your next visit. You can push those three books forward um, to your next visit. So we'll count starting three in your next visit, and you only need to read seven more for your next visit. Where on your book log, if you brought in a partially filled in book log, we couldn't give you any credit. You had to take that book log back home and finish filling it out. When well, the online system, you keep logging books along as you go and re reward you and keep track of every single book you read. No books are lost. There's never any problem with that. And I forgot to mention the best part. This is completely accessible from any web-based device, which means if you have an Android phone that has the internet available, or you have any iDevice, like an iPod Touch, or an iPhone, or an iPad, you can access the Summer Reader tool just the same way I showed you through our website. Um, and you can bookmark it in your, um, you can book the Summer Reading uh, web, web page here. Um, 
in your iDevice or your web, web enabled device and just access it just the same way you do any web based program um, from your iPhone or your iPad or your Android. So if you're on vacation, you can still keep track of your reading. You can just enter the book's titles as you finish them um, on your iPod Touch or your iPad. Um, of course, you can use a laptop or desktop, or if you don't have any of those things, it's still no problem because we have computers in all six of our library locations in the Auglaes County uh, library system, and you can come on in and use a computer and log all your books online just the same. So this is available wherever you're available or wherever you have access to the Internet. So if you're a kid who, for example, spends time at multiple parents' homes, or goes away for the summer but will be back by the end of summer reading. Um, you can still keep up with the summer reading program and get all your prizes and all your tickets just the same. So it really gives opportunities to, in a lot of different ways to a lot of different people where our uh, paper-based system was a lot more restrictive. So that's how you edit and view your book log. Now you can see that I have one picture book and one chapter book read so far and have earned a prize. But if we flip over to Sam, not doing as good. He hasn't read any books yet and no chapter books. So you can see that it keeps the accounts completely separate. So you never have to worry about them overlapping or having any problems with them. They're complete, kept completely separate, but still under one library card and one password. Likewise, you can click on My Info to see your registration info. So if you need to change your password for any reason or update your name or your email address isn't working and you need to update that, just make sure that you do that for everybody using that um, account. So if I did this for Sam, I would need to let Sam know that I changed my password. And if I changed my email address and it's the same one Sam was using, I need to let Sam know or I need to go into Sam's information and change it here also. So if you put in an email address that wasn't working and you're the main person and you copied it to everybody else's, make sure you go into everybody else's and change it as well. And again, if you change the password on your primary account, make sure you tell everybody else who accesses their account through yours that you did that. And really, that's all there is to uh, managing your book log and changing your password and managing your account through the Summer Reader tool. You can also click this button to go to the library homepage or simply log out. And that's how you use the 2013 Summer Reading Program online. It's just that simple and just that easy. We really hope you have a wonderful time during summer reading. And if you have any problems or questions using the Summer Reader tool, please either come into your local library location or give us a call where we'll be happy to help you. Have a great summer and happy reading.